guys, this is Robin and welcome back to my channel. So as promised today, I'm coming to do a video um, and compare the Chanel backpack with the Louis Vuitton. I think that anyone, I, these seem to be kind of the hot items right now. So anyone that's considering these two bags, I think this might be helpful. Um, so here is the mini. And I actually have the strap stored. Um, elsewhere, not with the bag, simply because I didn't want to have it inside because it, you know, could make some indentions or whatever. And also, I've kind of stuffed the front of here to ensure that it doesn't get, um, you know, like bulgy or whatever. So, I must say that these two little items have become my very favorite. And, you know, to the point where I'm not even thinking about carrying any other bags right now. So, um... Anyway, I'll just give you, you know, I've already, I did a video on this one already, I do believe, and I'll post it down below if you want to see, um, you know, sort of a more in detailed review of this one. And I also recently did one on the Chanel. So I am carrying this today. Um, as soon as I, well, let's see, I waited probably a couple of days, maybe a few days before. I actually started using it, but I absolutely love it. And as you can see, <laughs> I broke down, you know, my essay called me when these first came out. She's like, oh, because I had purchased my um, Fendi, two Fendi bags from her, and she called in. She said, um, you know, we've gotten these really cute pom pom poms, whatever they call them, ABC charms initial. And she's like, I think they would look really cute in your bag. And I'm like, no. Do not show me that. They're, they're too pricey, whatever. And, and she said, but they're really good quality and, they, you know, they're really fluffy. And um, I just said no. So, of course, um, some of, you know, I'm looking at Instagram and seeing all the beautiful pictures with them. And I am a sucker for anything with initials or monogrammed. And I'm sure she probably figured that at the time. And so I just couldn't resist. So. I had to have one. Um, I tried to put it out of my mind when she told me about it, but obviously it didn't work. So I have the pink uh, with the the navy. So this is the navy R with the pink. And, you know, I haven't noticed any shedding. I, I'm sure it will shed just a little bit, maybe like a little teeny tiny here or there. But anyway, so. Um, so back to the bags. Okay, just to give you a size reference. Here's the mini, and here is the um, Chanel. So the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs mini and the new Chanel backpack. So this is a mini, and this is a true mini, and this is like a, I would say, small to medium size, maybe it's just like a small bag, but it actually holds quite a bit. So if you look from the side view, here I'll go to the side. Um, Here's sort of the depth. Um, so what I'll do is kind of give you a comparison of what I have in here and, you know, what I can take from here and, and fit in here. And I'll also put the dimensions down below. But um, I'm not going to go into too much detail simply because I've done a video on both of these. But just to, you know, like I said, just if you're trying to decide between the two, um, kind of what I have in here, will it fit in here? So, as you can see with this bag, I, it's not even really stuffed, you know, it's, it still has quite a bit of room for me to put things in, and actually it looks better when it, I think, when it has more in it. So if you look inside, if you can see that, it still has quite a bit of room. So what I'll, what I'll do is I'll take the items from here and put them in here so you can actually see what will fit. Um, I do, like I said, recommend that if you have this bag, here's the draw, just to show you, the draw box that I got it in, when I put it in the dust bag, it fits really tightly, so what happened was this little pocket was just really like rippled and smushed, um, and I think it was just, you know, from kind of sliding it into the box because it was a tight fit. So what I did is I actually stuffed it so that way it wouldn't, you know, 
I mean, it's not a problem that it does that, but, you know, it doesn't look the best because it was all, like, you know, rippled um, from just being kind of squished. So what I did is I stuffed it with some air paper, and it looks so much better. So now that when I carry it and I take this out, or I could actually leave it in because it's really too small, unless you wanted to put a lipstick in, it's really too small to put anything in it. Um... So I guess what I'm doing is this is kind of a review on this bag after having carried it um, probably for like three weeks straight. I had to make myself not. I would definitely not recommend it to stuff this with something so that it doesn't, um, you know, get the ripples. So as you can see, I have it stuffed. And I think for this bag, it's important to do that to keep it shaped. And like I said, so it doesn't get kind of rippled up. All right, and also, as you know, this this doesn't, I mean, it zips all the way here and here, but it doesn't allow this to, like, you know, open up too much. So you, you kind of have to do a little tugging on it. Okay, so, so hopefully this video won't get too long. I'll just try to go through pretty quickly. All right, so you guys saw my new little Chanel um, passport holder wallet. I'm actually using it in my bag. It... I think I showed this before. It matches perfectly. It's beautiful. Both are lambskin. Okay, so this is what I'm using for my wallet. So I have that. Um, I also have my um, my red also Chanel lambskin. I think maybe this is not. I think it is some lambskin. But I also have this. This is for just extra cards in here. Um, I have my. Louis Vuitton 15, 15 um, uh, cosmetic case. I'm going to just put this to the back. And then I have, as I talked about before, my little, these have my other cards, like, um, um, you know, just extra stuff from wherever. Uh, okay, I'm going to put that in. Kleenex. And here's my um, little coach um, clean purse. And I have my six key Louis Vuitton um, key holder. And I'll put that in. And then lastly, I just have some hand sanitizer. All right, so I think I showed you this before that, you know, if you put all this in, this you can see it's, it's tight. And the problem, the problem is when you put it like, you know, stuff it like this, when you have to put it things that you really want to access to the front. Otherwise, as you can see, I'm going to have to dig in here and get to the back. So I don't, um, and see, you know, if I take that out, as you can see how compact that is. So typically I do not... So, so bottom line is you can see that you can fit everything from here in here, but you're going to have, you know, difficulty getting the items from the back simply because, you know, everything is so strategically placed in here. So what I normally would do when I'm carrying this is I wouldn't have probably this. I would take something, I would just take a lipstick out or, or something. So if I just took that out and left everything else in, you know, then it becomes way easier to get everything out very easily. So I can get to my, um, my wallets and also, you know, the, um, do I have this in here? Oh, and guess what? I forgot my phone. So then... I have the iPhone 6 Plus. So then that can easily sit in the front. So you can easily get to all of the items in here. And so that's how I would recommend if you pack this. You could put like a smaller um, cosmetic case in there. Um, I recently got the Chanel one. I think it's the old case with the charms on there, which I'll show in it later. But um, perhaps that would fit. But... Um, so you can obviously see that this one is, like I said, more of like a small bag. Of course, this is a true mini, 
This still fits a lot, but you have to place things strategically or you have to, you know, like, like I said, you know, decide what kind of pouches or whatever you're going to use in here in order to make it user friendly. Like for an example, this wouldn't work as well, but you could take these items and put it in a clay and that would fit much better in here. So anyway, so that's pretty much it guys. I'll put the dimensions, like I said, for both, but just to give you an idea, if you're thinking in terms of practicality, definitely the Chanel is um, more practical in terms of fitting more items in and still being, you know, somewhat compact. If you can have both, I absolutely love both. I think they serve two different purposes. This one is kind of just like your mini, like you would carry your Chanel mini or um, Chanel square mini, whereas this one is sort of, um, you know, like your small bag that you can fit all your essentials in. So um, that is what I think. Like I said, I love both of these bags. Um, I and now trying to give, you know, more thought to the things that I buy <laughs> as opposed to, you know, seeing something and go, oh my god, I love it, I have to have it. But really thinking through kind of what I have and what I'm going to use it for. I think I said this before, I love backpacks anyway. So for me, I immediately wanted both of these and I absolutely love both of these and don't ever see these leaving uh, or, you know, selling these. So... Love them both. I don't think you could go wrong with either one. So I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, feel, you know, as always, um, send me a message or post them down below. And I'd be happy to answer any other questions that you have. So I hope you guys have a great week upcoming. And I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.